the managers in the room, and for all of you, but particularly for the managers, I want you to get in the habit of asking three questions at the beginning of the shift and at the end of the shift. And the rest of you in here, you may want to write these questions down anyway, because here is a really strong way to set up a, a killer work plan, killer work plan. First question is, what appointments do you have today? <laughs> what appointments do you have today? Second question, what contacts do you have scheduled to make today? What contacts do you have scheduled today? And the third question is, what do you have scheduled to learn today? What appointments do you have? What contacts do you have scheduled? What do you have scheduled to learn today? Then at the end of the shift managers, your people are, are I'm assuming your people are encouraged to say goodbye to you when they check out. Yes? Okay? When they check out, all I want you to do is ask, what appointments did you set? What contacts did you make? What did you learn today? You will change the activity level of your, of your department significantly just by adopting this practice. Now, it takes 21 days for everyone to, for Pavlov's 21 days, for it to become a habit, for everyone to realize, hey, this is not going away. She's going to keep asking me this. And then they'll start coming up with answers. Now, understand when the guy, when, when, when you say, what did you learn today? And someone said, I don't know. Your response is, that's a great answer. Have a good night. Let them go. You're going to ask them again the next day. What did you learn today? You're going to keep asking me that, Sharon? Maybe. What did you learn? Nothing. Good answer. Have a good night. Eventually, they'll get it. And they'll start looking for things to learn, too. So not only do you, do you influence the activity level of each shift, but also the personal growth of each associate you're in charge of.